In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the length of an array or a list using recursion. So let's say we have a function called length here and we have a list, then the output of this function will be three because there are three elements inside this list. And I know you might say, well, why don't you just use the built-in length function? Well, if they say you cannot use the built-in function on a test, then the only way to do this is to use recursion. And it is very important that you know how to do this. The first step to writing any recursion is to draw the recursion tree. And let me show you how to do it. So here we have the length function and it needs to call on itself. However, we also need another variable to keep track of how many elements there are. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. So this is going to call on a different function. We have length number two. And then the list is going to stay the same. So A, B, C. And this time we will add an extra parameter of zero. And this is the parameter that's going to keep track of how many elements inside. And you'll see why this works in a second. Now this function will call on itself again. So we have length two. And this time we move on to the next element in the array. So in the list, we only have B and C. And since we moved on one element, this number gets incremented and this becomes one. And then this calls on itself again. We move on to the next element, which is C. And so because we move on to the next element, we increment this number and this becomes two. And then this calls on itself again. And when we move on, this list becomes empty. And then this number gets incremented and it becomes three. So as you can see, this list is now empty, which is a sign for us to stop the recursion. And when this list is empty, this function will simply return whatever this number is. And this is three, so it will return three here. And then going up the recursion tree, this will return three. Going up the recursion tree, this would return three. And going up, this one will be three. And finally, the very top one will be three. Let's write the code for our recursive length function. So we define the length function, which takes in a list. And then we need to return length number two with the list and something to keep track with. So in this case, we keep track of the length using the number zero. Next, we write our length two. So define length two. It takes in a list and a number. So if this list is empty, we return whatever n is else we return the length to this time we move on to the next element in the array and we increment n so n plus one let's go ahead and test it so we want to find the length of this list which has six elements so as you can see it prints out six which means that our code is correct in the next video, I'm going to show you how to convert a list into a string using recursion. So for example, if we have this list, then the output should be the string ABC123. And I'm going to show you how to do this in the next video. And that is basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and also subscribe if you want to buy me a coffee for free.